Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Sunday School. Today, I would like to show you a really cool card trick. So, I'm going to take this deck of cards and shuffle it. Okay, and then I'll shuffle it one more time. Okay. Okay, so now, after I shuffled the cards, I need your help. So, help me choose a card. Help me find a card. I can't see the cards, but you can see them. So, maybe we'll take this one. I'm going to close my eyes, look at the card, all right. So now what we're going to do is you're going to help me place this card, this one, back in the middle of the deck. So let's find the middle. Great. And this card is going to be placed in the middle. Do you remember the card? Now it's back in the middle. So when I snap my fingers, that card should go from the middle of the deck to the very top. Ready? Is this the card? Hmm. Was that your card? That's your card, isn't it? Hmm. Huh. Well, I don't understand because the, they um, say in the rules that when you choose a card, you have someone choose the card, put it in the middle of the deck, and then when you snap your fingers, when I snap my fingers, it should move to the top. That sounds easy. Hmm. The card trick seems easy, but maybe there was a few other things I was supposed to do, but it sounded complicated, so I just kind of skipped over those things. But it's supposed to be a magic trick, so I thought if I snap my fingers, it would work. <laughs> That's so silly of me. Sometimes it's like our life. We sometimes think that life can be easy too. We don't think it would ever get too complicated or hard. We think everything can happen at the snap of a finger. When life is hard, though, we look for an easy way out. That's not anything new. People were like that in Jesus' time, too. So I want to tell you a story from Mark chapter 8 verses 31 through 38. One day, Jesus was talking to his disciples and he was telling them that he was going to have to suffer to save the world from sin. He told them that he was going to be made fun of, be beaten, be crucified, and buried but that he would rise again on the third day. That sounds familiar. When do we celebrate when Jesus rises again? Yeah, Easter, right? We have this season right now of Lent 
for 40 days leading up to Palm Sunday, which then goes into Holy Week. Jesus, we talk about, is crucified, and that's Good Friday. But then he, on the third day, he rises again. He rose from the dead, and that is when we celebrate Easter. But he, he tells his disciples at this time that this is what will happen to him. He already knows. That is what his father had sent him to do. But one of his disciples, Peter, he says, no, Jesus, I don't want that to happen to you. Peter had other ideas. He knew that Jesus was the Messiah, the Son of God, and that wasn't what he wanted for Jesus. He didn't want him to be made fun of, beaten, crucified, and buried. There had to be an easier way than to go through such terrifying and scary things. Well, it's, it is true there could have been an easier way. Jesus had the power. He could have taken the easy way out. He could have set up his kingdom right here on earth with just a snap of a finger. But that was not God's plan. So Jesus turned to Peter and scolded him. He says, get behind me, Satan. And then Jesus said to Peter, you don't have your mind on the things of God. You have your mind on the things of men. Jesus, he's not interested in taking the easy way out. And he doesn't want us to look for the easy way out either. He said, if anyone would follow me, he must deny himself, take up the cross, take up his cross and follow me. We are like his disciples. Being a disciple of Jesus is not easy. It doesn't just happen with the snap of our fingers. It isn't easy, but the reward is great. We have so many things we can do as disciples in Christ. The reward is great. We will one day be in the kingdom of heaven. So, just remember, life can't be easy with a snap of a finger. We have to understand that when things get tough or complicated, we know that we can't take the easy way out because Jesus didn't take the easy way out, right? We understand that the reward is great. All right. So, please pray with me. Dear God, help us be willing to take up our cross and follow you and follow Jesus. We know it won't be easy, but we know the reward is great. We understand that it won't be easy, but the reward is great. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, boys and girls. Have a good day. See you next week. Bye.